Hi, this is Jill Mack. Jill Mack Meneman. Jill Mack short for that. I don't want to make anybody say Mack Meneman unless they really like it, like I do. Um, if you have any questions about this video, here is my phone number. You can give me a call and I can walk you through it. We're going to go out to my website, which is jillmack.com. And remember, Jill only has one L. So let's go out there. Students know that um, if I'm recording a video with you, that we are to think of it as a field trip, which is, um, you know, other people will see you and know your name and know what you say. And so the FERPA laws, which is Family Education Rights and Privacy, um, don't pertain to field trips. So let's open a browser. Okay. So here we are out on my browser. Well, open. We're in Chrome and we're out on my website. And my website is J I L M A C. <clears throat> so we're out on jillmac.com and it kind of depends on what I'm teaching. Um, we're going to go out to workshops and classes, and the classes that I'm teaching currently are going to be at the top. But sometimes I use classes and I can close up my web development. Um, sometimes I'm teaching classes and I'm using parts of other classes. So I teach for the Community College of Vermont, and I also teach for the Wyndham Regional Career Center. And today we're going to talk about Google Sites. So here is the link for Google Sites. When we click on the Google Sites, now many of my web pages are Google Sites because Google Sites is a CMS, a content management system, which means in order to create the web page, you don't really have to know HTML and CSS and JavaScript and databases and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and also, I find that using a CMS, whether it's Google Sites or WordPress or Drupal or Moodle, or even, you know, Moodle is a LMS, a learning management system, um, versus a content management system. It's just easier. When you're doing things, it's just easier mm -hmm. than going back into the code and then uploading the files, and Google makes it nice. And the reason I like to use Google is that once a student has learned Google, most of you already have Gmail accounts, um, once you've used Google and Google Docs, uh, it's just a really nice way to organize. I think that everybody needs websites for everything. So out on my HTTPS is Hypertext Protocol Secure, and the first is sites.google.com and site, and then the name of this site happens to be Jill Mac G Sites. So we're going to go down and we're going to just look at the handouts. Because this page, and it doesn't really matter how I'm teaching it, just kind of goes over what's in session one and session two and all of that kind of stuff. But the handouts are the, are the page that um, I use in other classes. And so on this handouts page, in the first week, we have creating a Google website. And you can either view this by clicking view, which means you can do it on your phone, you can do it on your tablet, mm -hmm. you can do it when it's convenient. And so all of my handouts, I'll blow this up big, all of my handouts have the date that I finished editing them. Um, they have my email address, and I have a variety of email addresses, uh, and my Gmail address, which doesn't change. It has my phone number and also my website. So they all have that. And this is just kind of an overview. This first one is just an overview, so we'll, we'll close that up. Um, creating your Google presence is the next document, and let's view that. takes a minute to load it. There must be a pause. Somebody in the family is doing something. So here, when we think about creating our Google presence, 
um, Google is a way of doing things in the cloud that's free. I happen to be a Google girl and I love their motto, do no harm. I know not everyone is in love with Google, but um, because they give out so many free things and they, they do so much for our schools um, and our nonprofit organizations, they've kind of won my heart a little bit. And they also mm -hmm. kind of are the, the bleeding edge. In here, we have Google for Gmail. Okay, everybody knows about Gmail, but we also have Google Plus that has albums. Sometimes it's called Picasa. We also have Google Calendars and Google Docs for those of us who can't afford mm -hmm. Word, Excel, um, PowerPoint, those kinds of things. We have Google Groups for your mailing needs. We have Google Sites. And Google also has the ability to be a blog. Google has Translate. And Google owns YouTube, which is where I store my training videos. So let me just show you a couple of Google websites. Um, here is uh, my son's dairy farm. So if we go out to that and if you're viewing stuff, sometimes they will throw or remove a character. So this one kind of threw KenLeach.com percent 22. So I'm just going to get rid of that percent 22 and just bring up KenLeach.com. So here is a Google site. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, this is set up for mobile, so it's kind of on a wide platform. I think I'll narrow it down a little bit, have it look a little bit more like a phone or a tablet might. Mm -hmm. Put it in the center of our screen here. And uh, we have graphics. We have tabs. You can click on the farm stand tab and bring up what they're, what's going on on the farm stand, whether we're selling manure or wreaths or pumpkins. Um, you can have a videos page, which will link to YouTube videos. And you can have calendars that uh, link to the calendar and also directions that link nicely to Google Maps. I think everybody that's used Google Maps knows how important it is to um, be able to find something easily and to be able to get directions for it. So if we look here, here's the farm. And if we wanted to find directions, we could. So that's an example of one, one website. If we want to go back to the handouts, oops, to creating your own. I also have the uh, vermontgardenclubs.org and let's just go out here and type it in mm -hmm. vermontgardenclubs.org and bring that up. I think I'll make this a little bit bigger and I'll make the site a little bit bigger. So here again I have the uh, navigation up at the top but I also have a left navigation and I have links to other Google sites. Here is the Vermont Cobble Project for our covered bridge, um, where we have uh, different slideshows that show the different cobbles. But you can have an image in the background, you can have a header, you can have a search this site link, you can have left navigation if you want it. I'm kind of a left navigation person. Um, but then I'm on a computer more than a phone. So left navigation is okay, but it doesn't really work as nicely for phones. So there's another example of some sites. And uh, one other, Abbey Eddy Monuments. And in this particular one, it didn't put the M in, so we'll just put an M in there for .com. Mm -hmm. And I'll blow this up a little bit more. Once again, we have the top navigation. Um, we can link it to images, slideshows, and we can also um, have a have a form so that people can fill out a form, and it updates your Google Docs. So those are the, some of the reasons um, that I find it's they're 
some pretty robust sites. All right, so let's go back to, so here in this handout, it kind of just explains, explains about um, Google, kind of your Google presence. So we'll close that one up. We'll close this up. Um, so that's creating your presence. But if you need to know how to do um, set up your Gmail um, or a handout that, you know, some people like using handouts, uh, this would be how you can set up your Google Gmail. And Gmail is just a login and password for the rest of your Google. Um, so here is the starting document for setting up a Google website for free, and we can just view that one. So here, um, when we go in, we're going to open a browser and we're going to go out to Google once you have a Google and you're going to sign in. So we're going to sign in and kind of follow these directions. And then it gives you more about how to edit a page and how to add a page and how to add a link and how to insert a picture and some different examples as well as here, all that's possible, we can look at this. And it just gives us kind of another, another different handout, but let's kind of walk through it. So let me walk through creating a Google website. So here I am on my website and I know I'm already logged in because in the upper right hand corner I have Jill. So let's blow this up so we can see mm -hmm. this a lot better. Okay. So here it tells me Jill and if I have my Google set up and I've added a picture, um, you can see my, my picture. Google now has this, what I call it's, <coughs> excuse me. Google now has what it's called, I call it, the Rubik's Cube. Because when we click on this Rubik's Cube, it brings up a shortcut of all the different uh, things that I use. I use Calendar a lot. I use Gmail a lot. I use Sites. However, for some of you that have not created these yet or have not set up your shortcuts here yet, you really want to scroll down to um, even more Google. Because even more Google is going to bring up all the different products that Google has. These are products for the web. These are products for mobile. These are products for business. These are products for media, for geo, or, and for specialized search, for home and office. Here's where you get your docs and your Gmail and your slides and drawings and Drive and Sheets, which is like a spreadsheet and forms and translate. But if we scroll down to, here it is, it's in the home and office. Sometimes it moves as they add things. Here we have sites. So if you click on Google sites, it brings you to all the Google sites that your login has. Well, right now I have many, you know, when you bring this up, you're probably not gonna have any because you haven't created any yet. But in order to create one, you click the Create button. Now, I recommend that you use a blank template in the beginning, or at least have one that's a blank template, although they have lots of nice templates available. Um, and you put in your name. This name needs to be unique to Google. So most of the time, I will put in Jill Mac and then I will put in like Google training. And you know, it's not going to put in a dash for it, but this is this is how I'm going to see it. And then you have to click the little I am not a robot. And it's going to go out and it's mm -hmm. going to check things and then you click create. So we want to create it. And this is where Google is going to go and check to see is that domain name already been taken. 
the site URL, you can't do that, so um, I'll do Jill Mac Google Training. So I will do Jill Mac Teaches. Oops, sorry. Let me delete that and put it back up here. Jill Mac Teaches. S I T E S. And let's see if it likes that one, and I will create a site. So it's taking a little bit longer, which is a good sign. It hasn't found anything that um, it does. And now we have created a site. So what I need you to do is I need you to, after you've created a site, because there, you've created the site. And if you have this URL, this is the URL for that site. And if you click it and copy it, and you just um, go out to your Gmail, If you could just email me this link, compose, and we want to compose it to jillmac.macrand at gmail.com or one of my other emails. And I created a site. And then just put the link in there and send it off to me. And that is the first video on creating your website because that you have created a website and anyone who uses this URL at the top will be able to get to your magnificent website. And we'll be doing more on that. But this was an introduction and you can email me that link. For students who are in the LMS uh, Moodle, you can also post it to the assignment. Thank you very much, and remember, take a deep breath. <sighs> nice, long, mm -hmm. slow, deep breaths. Uh, so you get lots of oxygen to your brain, drink lots of water. Your brain is made up mostly of water, and it needs those two things to learn. If you have any questions, just give me a call, and I'll see you in the next video.